the, the majority of our patients are Latino. We basically see patients that have Medi-Cal and Medicare. So we take care of the poor. Patients that didn't have Medi-Cal uh, before they were coming in at the end of the disease. For example, people came out with necrotic feet, rotten feet already, or toes, with protein in the urine, with glucose 300, 400, 500. People that have been like that, because they didn't have no insurance, so they'd rather save the money to buy food than to come to the doctor. As soon as Medi-Cal and the Affordable Care Act was available, more people came into the clinic for uh, their proper medical care. I'm really disappointed uh, if, if the Affordable Care Act is gonna be eliminated and it's not supplemented with a better program, uh, because that's gonna really hurt our patient population, especially the poor and the working class. The rich can go anywhere. A lot of our patients depend on Medi-Cal, and without Medi-Cal, they're not going to get their medications, they're not going to get their laboratory, the blood work, and also they're not going to come to their doctor. They're basically going to end up going to the emergency room. All I know that preventive medicine is, is going to save us a lot of money, and the way Mr. Trump is going, if he doesn't come out with a better system, we're going to be in chaos. We're going to spend more money as taxpayers taking care of the sick people. I use medication for arthritis, for diabetes, heart condition, my blood pressure medicine. There would be no way that I can afford the medication if they take our Medi-Cal away from us. The majority of our patients are afraid. They're scared. He says, doctor, who's gonna help us with the medications? Who's gonna help us to come and see you? Who's gonna help us take care of medical problems? You know, and that's unnecessary stress on our patients. I'm afraid that it's going to happen and it's going to affect a lot of people. And then, you know, we'll just have to try to see how, you know, other means of insurance. But a lot of us can't afford that, especially if you're on fixed income. So we need to improve Obamacare, not destroy it completely. Uh, by that, uh, low copayment, you know, for the patients, a better reimbursement to the, for the doctors, and be able to get medications for the patients that are affordable. So Obamacare is an excellent program. If we can improve it, it will be an ideal program.